Understanding the Graphs page. The first section tells you whose graphs you are looking at. If you have more than one dog wearing a Hayrex, you can use the drop down box to change between them. Here it states when the Hayrex service last received information from that biosensor. The graphs shown for your dog move in real time. The end of the graph will always be roughly the time it is when you are looking at them. You may need to refresh the page if it has been open for a period of time. If the Hayrex servers have not heard from your dog's biosensor for a little while, the graph will continue to roll over. However, it will not display the information until it uploads to the Hayrex servers. This section shows your dog's activity in either a histogram or area graph. The blue lines refer to scratching and the green lines refer to activity. The orange lines refer to resting. The figures on the vertical y-axis are the number of movements recorded by your dog's biosensor. This section on the Today graph identifies the period set as your dog's night time and is used to generate sleeping disturbances. If you have subscribed to Hayrex Pro, you can choose to view this information in either an area graph, which is the default, or a histogram by clicking on the cog. You can also choose to turn the activity or scratching information off, so you can view the two separately. By clicking on the tabs along the top, you can toggle between today, the last 24 hours, the last 7 days or the last 30 days. You can also access the Diary tab here. When you are viewing the 24-hour graph, the information is displayed in 15-minute increments. On the last 7 days graph, information is displayed in 105-minute increments. On the last 30 days graph, the information is displayed in 24-hour increments. This is important to understand as sometimes lots of small spikes on the 24-hour or 7-day graphs could add up to a bigger daily total than a couple of big spikes shown for another day. The figures along the top advise the current trend for your dog. These figures change depending on which period you are viewing. When on the Today graph, it compares the most current 24-hour period to the previous 24-hour period. On the 7-day graph, it compares the most current 7 days to the previous 7 days. And on the 30 days graph, it compares the most current 30 days with the previous 30 days. A positive number means that particular activity increased. A negative figure shows that it decreased. You can find out more information on what each of these might mean by clicking on the Information button next to each. Here we have the clock graphs. Click on View Larger for additional information. These relate to the previous 24 hours from the time you are viewing them. Any information not yet received by the Hayrex servers will show as blank. This graph is interactive. The red line highlights now and runs clockwise around the graph, displaying 24 hours of information. The legend at the bottom advises the meaning behind the gradient of the colours on each graph. You can hover your mouse over any of the slices on the graph. In the middle of the graph it will display the date and time it was recorded, as well as advising how many activations for that particular activity were detected during that period. You can use the navigation buttons at the bottom to switch between clock graphs. This section breaks down the activity your dog did the most in a particular 15 minute period. It covers an 8 hour period that ended at the date and time of the most recent upload which is stated here. This section along the bottom gives you the time period for each of these activities. The coloured sections on each of these lines show what type of activity your dog was mainly doing during that time. Right at the bottom is a list of the last three notifications generated for your dog. 
The weather shown here relates to the forecast for the address listed as your dog's address under my account.